Good afternoon, everyone. We are interrupting our normal programming to bring you breaking news from Ansonia. Yeah, state police have just issued an Amber Alert for one year old Vanessa Morales. She was last seen yesterday on Monday, rather December 2nd. The silver alert was issued first. Now yes. it's an Amber Alert. Now it's an Amber Alert and she's described as two feet, two inches tall. She has brown hair and brown eyes. Now the Amber Alert comes at the same time. Police are investigating a suspicious death at the home where the girl lived and Sonia police are telling Eyewitness News they were called to a house on Myrtle Avenue for a welfare check after the family could not get in contact with the person living there. Channel 3's Patricia Del Rio is standing by live in Ansonia with the very latest on what police have told her about this case. Go ahead, Patricia. Yes, well, we just spoke to the public information officer for Ansonia Police moments ago, and he did let us know that this Amber Alert would be issued, and it was minutes ago. Now, as you said, this one-year-old baby uh, has been missing since this would be Monday. Today's Wednesday. There was uh, a, a request to have a check on the family at the home. Police went out to the home where they did find a deceased woman. Now, the Associated Press is reporting that the woman who was found dead in the home is the baby's mother. Police are not confirming that. Uh, they are telling us that various uh, tests and such need to be done before they are going to make that type of statement. Uh, I asked the public information officer if they believed the child to be alive at this time, and he said that they are going under the assumption that the baby is alive. This has now been brought to the level of an Amber Alert. Many had been questioning why this had not yet risen to the level of Amber Alert and just a silver alert. And what the distinction is there is that the Amber Alert is a nationwide alert where you may notice you'll get a flash on your phone and so forth. And what police were telling me is that with Stormwatch and all the different alerts and beeping on phones that to bring to that level, they didn't want to add a level of confusion to people, that they wanted to be following up on certain leads. They wanted to be looking at this very carefully before they took it to that level. Now they have taken taken that to that level and they are following many leads. Uh, we were out at the home. There's a Myrtle Avenue home where the child lived uh, with her mother. Again, AP reporting that the woman found dead is the mother. And at the home today, we saw investigators going in and out of the home uh, with cameras, with paper bags. Uh, retrieving evidence as such. And at five o'clock this afternoon, police are going to be holding a formal news conference. Uh, they'll be talking to reporters, answering questions more specifically, perhaps providing greater detail on this. But as you mentioned, there is an investigation clearly into what became of the woman found in the home and now this secondary investigation, simultaneous investigation as to where little one-year-old Vanessa is. So we are going to be following this story. We are going to be in all of our evening broadcasts on this story. And as soon as we have information from this news conference, we will bring it to you and we will be bringing you the news conference. Reporting live from City Hall in Ansonia, I'm Patricia Del Rio, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. All right. Thank you, Patricia. We are interrupting Dr. Ossie to bring you this breaking news. An Amber Alert just issued in the disappearance of Vanessa Morales right here. That's your picture. She's one year old and you're urged to call in Sonia Police, the number on your screen, if you happen to see her. And the search now goes, as Patricia said, nationwide, an Amber Alert. So wherever this child may be, people in other states perhaps will see her and maybe lead to her discovery, safe discovery. Let's and hope. Patricia explained this so well because so many people were wondering why not an Amber Alert at the beginning? Why was it a silver alert yesterday and an Amber Alert today? And she said all the confusion of the snow and people's phones going off, they didn't want to muddle the situation. Well, let's hope that something happens now they get a, a lead to crack the case and find this baby girl. We're going to return to Dr. Oz regular programming, but again, we will have complete coverage, including any updates that come in, uh, and we'll bring it right to you on Channel 3 Eyewitness News, beginning Begin at 4.30. 430.